guys, welcome back to what has turned out to be the unofficial Save Your Money Week. On Tuesday, we were talking about foundations you should avoid Save Your Money on if you have oily skin. I will link to that video down below. Today, we're going to be chatting about product dupes, but more specifically, the more affordable version is actually better, in my opinion, than the more expensive counterpart. It's not gonna be like a typical dupes video in which I show you an expensive shade of a product and a more affordable exact match of that shade. It's more like product formula, comparable products in which you can actually find a cheaper version that performs much better. I saw Emily Noel, the queen of creativity, not clickbait, do this video and I thought it was such a great idea. So I'm gonna do it today, let's get started. The most obvious duo that comes to mind for me, probably for you, I know Emily Noel included this in her video as well, are these guys. The L'Oreal Lash Paradise up against the Too Faced Better Than Sex. When this was released, it is so blatantly clear that L'Oreal was kind of like, hey, we look like better than sex. We're probably as good as better than sex. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. And to me, it's 100% better. I was never in love with Too Faced Better Than Sex. Since it has dried out, I prefer it to its original format, but I do find it flakes on me and no mascara flakes on me. I never get mascara smudges or transfer. This did that and I also just didn't love the way it looked on my lashes. That being said, mascara is incredibly personal, but this is so good. So much volume, so much length, super curly, super black, and I absolutely love this. This is the kind of mascara I would totally repurchase, and this was not the case. The Too Faced Better Than Sex retails for about $30 Canadian, around $25 American. L'Oreal, of course, is gonna come in at much less than that. If you do uh, choose a cruelty-free lifestyle, Too Faced is, of course, going to be cruelty-free, but if you don't follow that lifestyle and you are looking for a cheaper alternative that's actually better, L'Oreal. In keeping with the theme of L'Oreal lashes, I want to talk lash primers. And I have talked about this L'Oreal lash primer many times and I absolutely love it. I think it is so good. I definitely see a difference when I use this. Sometimes with lash primers, you put it on, you're kind of like, did, did it do anything? I'm not quite sure. This I absolutely see a difference with. It is the L'Oreal Voluminous Primer. And this is comparable, way better, way better than the Dior Maximizer, in my opinion. This guy retails for $37 Canadian, around 30 or 29 American. And to me, this just didn't really do anything. The brush on it is really weird. It doesn't distribute product properly. So I feel like I couldn't get enough built up on my lashes to really add any extra volume or length or curl or anything like that. And if it was like a wet and wild one and you're kind of like, it does a little something, it's only $3, then fine. But this guy is like $40. This is about $10 and it actually does a phenomenal job. I think that if you have trouble with your lashes to so definitely give this a try. And if you're trying to make a mascara work, you're trying to build up your mascara, or if you're like me and you don't really wear false lashes, this is a nice addition that I reach for when I really want to make my lashes pop. Onto a product that I cannot stop comparing to more expensive counterparts because I cannot stop loving it more than the expensive counterparts it is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contour Stick. I had so many questions about this after I mentioned it in my Fenty Beauty review. I've mentioned it in several videos and I have a an Instagram tutorial in which I'm using it so I'll link to that down below. This is just so good. It's so easy, so creamy, so blendable. It costs under $5. I think it's incredible and Wet n Wild is cruelty free. So to me, this is a better buy than the Fenty Beauty Matte Matchstick. I just don't love this as much. I don't think that it's bad, but I definitely think that the Wet n Wild is easier to work with in my opinion. Of course, in Fenty, you're gonna get way more shades. So you may not be able to find your shade in Wet n Wild. Maybe you just wanna support the Fenty cause, which I totally approve of. I have absolutely been loving the highlighter that I tried. I mentioned it in a recent favorites video, but for me, when I'm comparing it, this one costs $31 American. This is about three or $4.99. And this is just something I find myself reaching for over this guy. Up next, we're talking about eyebrow pomades and Anastasia Dip Brow. This is something that I've had and loved forever. I've gotten so much use of and I still do really love it. I still think it is a great price. It's $23 Canadian and if you take care of it, close the lid, you'll have this for a really long time because you need so little of it. That being said, I don't feel like it's the most user-friendly brow pomade that I have used. I definitely love the Essence Eyebrow Gel. 
and I've mentioned this before and there's always confusion about the Make Me Brow, not the Make Me Brow. I am talking about the eyebrow gel that's a pomade. This retails for $3.99. It does only come in one shade. So that's kind of the downfall with some of these more affordable versions is that the shade range just isn't there. They don't, it's not backed as properly as something like Anastasia or Fenty that has a really strong shade range. But if you can find your shade and you are looking to save a little bit of money, this is a great option. And I've talked about this before, but I love it because it is so user friendly. It has a less creamy texture, but by no means is it stiff or too waxy. You can build it up nicely to something that is quite intense, or you can go in a lot more lightly and you're less less likely to make mistakes. If you are using the dip brow, however, um, my favorite way to use it is by with an angled brush and I just kind of wipe it on the top before I go into my brows, just kind of to get off some of that extra product to make sure I don't have too strong of a brow and that can be kind of hard to rectify after the fact. But this is a really nice shade. It's not too warm, not too cool, and it is just so easy to use and so affordable. I have another item from Dior that I want to mention. These are the Dior Lip Tattoos, and they come in beautiful packaging. They have a beautiful, lightweight texture, really nice shades. I love the way these look on the lips, but my problem with them is they are not as long-lasting. When you swatch these on your hand and you wipe it away, these will stain like crazy, but I find they don't stain the lips for whatever reason. They go on really beautifully. They wear away nicely. They don't end up looking patchy on the lips, but they definitely don't stick around, and for $36, I would expect this to last for 36 hours so I wouldn't say that my dupe lasts for 36 hours or that it is just exceptionally better but it definitely is just as good if not slightly better especially because the price is under five bucks they are part of the new launch for winter in Canada anyways they may already be out in the United States and Europe from Essence and these are their water kiss glossy lip colors and they're not a glossy lip color. These to me are a really watery stain. So when you put them on your lips, they feel really, really thin, watery, kind of cold, but they do dry down to basically a matte finish, kind of that stain finish where they feel matte but have a little gloss to them. They do have a good wear time. I wouldn't say that they last throughout the entire day, but they definitely do a really nice job for the price. And they come in, I think, five or six different shades. That being said, I haven't come across like a really thin lip stain that I absolutely love. So if you have any recommendations, let me know down below. For these last two items, I have about three or four comparable products in case you were interested in this product but don't want to spend the big bucks. So the first item are from Giorgio Armani. These are their Ecstasy Lip Lacquers. These retail for $43 Canadian, so a hefty price tag attached. They do have this beautiful metallic kind of glossy lacquer finish and metallic lips are super in right now. I think they especially look really, really good with deep lip colors moving into the fall. These kind of burgundy wine brown shades that have metallic to them are just absolutely stunning and these to me are nice but they're just they're not everything I want them to be for $43. They are a lacquer, so of course they're not going to last as long on your lips, that's not really the guarantee, but to me, I definitely want something that's gonna stick around, especially if it is a metallic lip. You just don't really want things going awry when there's shimmer or even glitter involved. So these aren't bad to me, but I have other options that are better for cheaper. Up first would be brand new from L'Oreal. These are their metallic lip paints. So these are kind of the sister, brother, cousin to the infallible lip paints, which I really, really like. Those are kind of a lacquer formula. And again, same can be said for these. These have a bit of a moussey texture. So although they aren't as glossy as the Giorgio Armani ones, they stick around a little bit more and have a nice bit of shine. No glitter, no uh, kind of a gritty feeling. They feel really comfortable on the lips actually. And they come not a ton of shades, but really beautiful shades for fall. Then I have a few drugstore liquid lips here. The first, if you can get your hands on them, they are fabulous from the Wet n Wild Mer Midnight Mermaid collection. I have a full try on video, but these are really nice, super affordable, so comfortable to wear on the lips. And then the NYX Cosmic Metal lip products. <coughs> Sorry, I'm getting a bit of a head cold and I'm trying to film before this all just falls apart and I can just feel it happening as I'm filming. The NYX Cosmic Metal Lip Creams. These are really nice, some really beautiful formulas. These again are not exactly transfer proof, but they are quite long wearing. They are a little bit sticky on the lips, so that's something to keep in mind. These come in a ton of different shades and retail for under $10. And then ColourPop also makes a really great metallic lippy. These retail for just $6. So these aren't all 
exact dupes in the sense that they are the kind of metallic lacquer formula, but they have a very similar finish on the lips. If you're just in the market for some metallic lips for fall, kind of want to play around with it, these are really good options that are affordable and look beautiful on the lips. They're not gritty or wear away too quickly. Lastly, I want to talk about some lip liners. These are the Tardis lip crayons. I have the minis here, but these retail for $22 and they're just they're not very good. They're super dry. They crack when you try to use them. When you look on the Sephora website, actually, they only have about a three star rating and a lot of people seem to have the same issues with me, even with the full size ones. So I, ha I love a lot of high end lip liners. I like Bite Beauty. I love Makeup Forever. But the majority of the lip liners I love are actually quite affordable. The most comparable kind of format would be the Wet n Wild gel lip liners. These retail for two, three, four ninety nine. dollars Really nice and creamy. Also great in a comparable format from Essence. These are the long lasting lip liners, so these are retractable. Essence also makes a pencil lip liner, which is fabulous. And then the most creamy, beautiful lip liners ever that if I could only wear one lip liner for the rest of my life would be these guys. So these are sharpenable. Uh, that doesn't bother me at all because I love the formula. These can be worn alone or as a lip liner. I should probably tell you what they are. These are from ColourPop and I think that these are just so good and beat out just about any lip liner ever, especially the Tarte ones because they're just so freaking dry. Sometimes it is so nice to treat yourself with a high-end item. Maybe you love the brand. Maybe you just love the packaging. Maybe you've been saving up. I totally get that. But for me, if I'm buying a high-end product, I at least want it to be as good, but hopefully better than a more cheaper and affordable alternative. So in this case, all of those items, I would totally swap out for the more affordable items because they actually work better and I'm not just going to put something on my face because it has a cute packaging. If I can get better lashes, better lips, better eyebrows with another product. So let me know down below if you have any more affordable items that actually work better for you than something more high end that you tried. I'd love to know. And if you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat at SamanthaJaneYT and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.